Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question maximum profit in job scheduling. Okay, so before I explain a real algorithm, so let's think about uh, this question with simple example. So in this case, um, if we start this job at uh, end of two time, so we will get uh, uh, 10 profit, right? So at two time, we will get uh, 10 profit. And then, so next job is like a start from two. And uh, so we can take this job also, right? Because uh, our first job is finished at two. So they are not overlapping. So in this case, um, at three, so we will uh, get a plus 20, right? So total should be, so at three total should be 30, right? 10 plus 20. This is a very simple example, right? And uh, okay, so what if we have another choice? So start time is two and time is four and the profit is 30. So in this case, uh, so we can start for, uh, from like a one and a, and a two, right? So it's same, but uh, there are um, multiple choice. So if we, so as I told you, if we take this, this job at um, three times, we will get a 30 profit, right? But uh, we have to choose one of uh, these jobs because our start time is same. So they are overlapping. So, and uh, if we take this job, so at four time, so we will get um, plus 30, right? So before that, we will get 10 profit and uh, start this job and uh, get the plus 30. So total should be 40, right? So in this case, we should take uh, this job and this job so that we can get a maximum profit. But how about this? Um, if uh, we have another job, so start time is three and the end time is let's say five and the profit is 20. So how about this? In this case, so if we take this job and we will finish at three, right? So, and this job starts from three time, so we can uh, take a both job, right? But if we take this job and the time is four, so we can't do the this job, right? So that's why when we take this job, so we finish this job and this job, right? So that's why, um, and uh, from this job, we will get a plus 20 profit. And uh, before that, we finish uh, these two jobs and the profit is 30. So at five time, so we will get um, 30 plus 20 and 50, right? So that's why in this case, we will take this job, this job, and this job so that we can get a maximum profit. From this basic idea, I think it's a good idea to calculate max profit at each end of time so that we can reuse the result of calculation for later calculation. So for example, um, so how can we calculate a 50? Um, so if we take uh, this job, we will get a plus 20 pr profit, right? But uh, uh, before that, uh, at end of three, uh, we got 30 profit from this job and this job, right? So that's why we can simply calculate 30 plus uh, 20. So that's why total 50 at uh, five time, right? So we use this idea to solve this question. Okay, so let me explain the other algorithm with this example. So this example coming from example two in the description. And uh, first of all, uh, we saw the combination of start, end, and profit like this. So let me explain why we need to sort uh, the combination uh, later. And then um, initialize uh, max profit and uh, start zero. And uh, to solve this question, um, uh, I think there are several ways to solve this question. Actually, I came up with like a two or three idea. And uh, I think uh, this is the easiest. So I use a heap and uh, start from like an empty heap. And uh, so every time uh, we put end time and uh, profit to heap. And uh, so let's iterate through uh, this combination one by one. And uh, first of all, one, three, 20, right? And uh, check heap and uh, th there's no data, right? So in that case, simply just add end time and profit. And in this case, 
3, uh, 3 and uh, 20, right? So 3 and 20. And then move next. So next start time is 2, end time is 5, and the profit is plus 20. In this case, we have data in heap. So uh, sorry, and by the way, this is a, a min heap. So that means uh, top data has a earliest end time. And uh, compare current start time versus um, earliest end time. And uh, if start time is greater than or equal end time, so that means we can take a both job, right? But uh, in this case, end time is three and the start time is two. We cannot uh, take a both job. So that's why in that case, we just put uh, current end time and the profit to heap. So in this case, so five, so at five time, we will get um, 20 as a max profit, right? This is a simple. And then move next. Next, we have start time is three and uh, end time is 10 and uh, profit is 100. So uh, we do the same thing, check the top uh, data. So that is the earliest end time. So now um, they are same, right? Start time is three and the end time is three. So that means we can take this job and the current job. So that's why we can take uh, this max profit. So, and then we use this max profit. So take this job and add max profit 20. And then um, check if we can also take uh, this job. But uh, end time is five and the start time is three. So we cannot take both job, right? So that's why at um, end of 10, so we will get, so this 20 plus this uh, 100, so total 120, right? At and uh, at 10 time. So 10 and the max profit should be 120. And then move next. So next is uh, four, start time is four and end time is six and uh, uh, profit is 70. And uh, let's check in heap. So earliest end time is five and the start time is four. So we cannot uh, take uh, any job in heap, right? And uh, just 70, but uh, 70 is actually wrong. So that's because, um, so look at the, uh, this job. So start time is three, right? And then in that case, um, before um, uh, three time, we will get, uh, we got like a 20 as a max profit, right? So that means, so this job start from four time. And uh, this time, uh, this job start from three time. And uh, this job uh, is like a 100 plus 20, right? So that means, so um, this job also will get this 20, right? Because uh, at three time, uh, we will get 20, right? So at four time, of course, uh, we will get the 20, right? So that's why at end of uh, like a six, uh, we will get 70 plus 20. So that means this max profit. So that's why uh, we sold at first. Yeah, that's the reason. And then, so in this case, mark uh, at six time, we will get 70 plus 20. And that means 90, right? Okay, so let's see the last job. And the start time is six, end time is nine, and the profit is 60. And uh, let's check heap. So by the way, um, number of data in heap is number of possible combinations of job. And uh, this data, so end time is five and the profit is 20, is coming from a single job, right? This job. So this is a simple, but uh, look at the, uh, end time is 10 and the profit is 120. So this 120 is coming from 100 plus 20, right? So this job plus this first job, right? And then this data, about this data, six and 90. So this 90 is coming from this 70 plus and this first job, right? So um, before we start this job, um, so there are three possible combinations of job. So that's why um, we have to uh, compare uh, the max profit before start this job. 
So in this case, so start time is six. So we can uh, take uh, jobs like uh, five and six, right? So 10 is uh, uh, impossible, right? So that's why, and the current max profit is 20. And uh, so let's look at the uh, uh, end time is five at first. And uh, max profit is 20, and the max profit, current max profit is 20. So that's a, they, they are same. So we don't have to update a max profit. But so look at a, a 90. So 90 versus 20, which is bigger. So 90, right? So that's why before we start this job, this last job, so max profit should be one, uh, not 100, and 90, right? So that's why uh, max profit is 90. And uh, in the end, uh, so we will get a 90 plus current job profit, 60. So total 150, right? So that's why at nine time, we will get 150. So um, nine and 150. And of course, uh, we should uh, pop this data and this data. And uh, then we finish iteration. And uh, after that, so heap has two data. So one data is at 10, we will get um, 120. Another data is at 9, we will get 150. And then uh, take data one by one and uh, get max uh, profit. So in this case, this one, right? So that's why we should return 150 in this case. So um, maximum profit of job combinations should be, so we take a last job and uh, this job and uh, 90 is consisted of 70 plus 20. So I think uh, this job, this job, and uh, I think a first job. So uh, we start from one and end three and uh, get a 20. And then we start from four and end six at plus 70, so total 90. And we start from six and end at nine and get a plus 60. So 90 plus 60 is a total 150, right? Looks good. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. Um, first of all, initialize max profit and uh, with zero. And uh, let's sort jobs. So jobs equal sort it and uh, so we will create um, array and uh, tuple and start end and profit for um, start and profit oops profit in so we use zip and uh, start time and end time and uh, profit and then um, create a heap, empty list. So this will um, keep like an end time and a profit. And uh, let's iterate through one by one for S end and profit in jobs. And uh, while heap has data and the start time is uh, greater than or equal, um, top data, so heap zero and uh, zero. So in that case, um, we will update max profit equal, so as I told you, we should compare, so current max profit versus uh, heap q dot heap pop and uh, heap and uh, profit is index one. And then after that, um, heap q dot heap push and heap dot. So we should put end time and uh, max profit this time. So this time is like a p plus max profit, right? And then after that, with um, max of data in heap. So p for um, end and uh, p in heap. So so we don't use this e. So I think we can uh, replace like a e with underscore. 
Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be, I think, an order of n log n because we use sort here. So where n is a number of jobs. And the space complexity is, uh, I think, uh, O n. Uh, in the worst case, all jobs are overlapping. In the case, we have to uh, put all data into heap, so which is uh, n. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.